Hey y'all, I have another Sims Club haul and I didn't think I needed that much but apparently I did when I went in the store because I got $184 and some change. And I'm going to show you what all I got and there's um, a lot of the same stuff. There's some new stuff and at the end of this, if you're still watching, you'll see a app that I found that I used today and I absolutely loved it. I'm gonna continue using it every um, opportunity I have and I want y'all to know about it and I think that if you don't already know about it, you're gonna love it too. So anyway, I'll just get started on what I got. I bought this pack of the cheese crackers because sometimes you know you want a little snack but you don't wanna whole lot of something and you just don't even feel like making it so just grab a pack of crackers and there you are so I got those and my um, I'm sitting at my bar in the kitchen and it is full so I'll be leaning and stuff and I'm sorry my husband loves plain lays and so does Kaylin so uh, they wanted a bag of the plain lace, and I got those, and then, y'all know, I like the barbecue, and I think these big, I think this is probably the biggest bag you can get, and I might have said this before, but it seems like these big bags that they have more barbecue on them, but um, I really enjoy these, and they last a long time, they're so big. Then I got a box of uh, eight count uh, Bush's baked beans. And so that'll be something a little different that we'll have with our uh, meals sometimes because I'm guilty of kind of cooking the same things over a lot of the sides. So that'll be good. I got a pack of the um, sliced cheese, you can get this 120 count or 160, and the 120 is sliced just a little bit thicker, but either pack you get is um, five pounds, so uh, this works out fine for us. And then the five pounds of the four cheese Mexican style blend. I usually get this every uh, every time I go. I usually go just once a month, maybe twice, but um, I usually just get this once a month. But we do eat a lot of cheese, as most of you know. I got the Nature's Own Honey Wheat, which I get all the time. Before I forget... I got four gallons of milk that my husband's already put up, and I can't even lift this, but it's toilet paper, and everybody pretty much knows what toilet paper looks like, but you get 45 rolls, and there's 473 sheets on each roll, and this is excellent toilet paper, and you pay 19 something for a big box, so... Um, it's called Palm. So if you need toilet paper and you wonder about that, I recommend it. It's good. And also, I can't really pick up. It's a 15-pound bag of bacon potatoes. They're the bigger potatoes. Sometimes I like to bake a couple. And then I uh, open them up. And I'll put butter and ranch and cheese, bacon bits, um whatever if I have like barbecue that's really good in it and our whole meal is just a baked potato with stuff in it so I got that my husband loves kiwi so I got him a container and this was under six dollars for that and I got a bag of navel oranges which I got a bag last time I was there they were really sweet and good so I'm hoping that they're the same way this time and I got a 
believe it's a pound and a half. Yeah, of pepperoni. And one of my favorite ways of using the pepperoni is um, one of the ladies on here gave me a recipe and I did a video on it of um, tomato casserole something like that you use tomato and bread and seasonings and cheese but I love to put some pepperoni on it and I put um, like garlic salt onion salt Italian seasoning kind of make it um, Italian tasting in a way and then if I put the pepperoni along with the cheese I feel in a way like I have pizza which is really good and to me uh, that tomato bread recipe is kind of like a comfort food and if I don't know anything I want to eat I will always fall back on that and I'm so grateful for that recipe and thank you for sharing it then I got a bunch of bananas and these were a dollar thirty eight for um, the container of those and I'm trying a new coffee creamer this time it's still the coffee mate, but instead of getting, I believe it's 192 of the little individual cups, we, my husband and I both use three of those cups per cup of coffee. And um, the boxes aren't huge, but when you buy, you know, usually I would buy two or three when I went, and it's kind of hard to store them. And so they have these um, big containers that you pump the um, um, creamer and you don't have to refrigerate it I'm pretty sure you don't have to refrigerate it yeah no refrigeration needed and when I feel like using my brain I'm gonna see well it says one bottle equals 300 tubs so that would be a hundred cups of coffee for us which is a much better deal than what we were using and the box with the individual cups was um, about $9, I believe. And I believe this is about 11 So this would be a better buy. So we're going to try this and see how we like it. And it should be the same. It's the same creamer. And it, anyway, I got two of these. And Kaylin loves halos. So I got this. Bag. It was not quite seven dollars, I believe. And I got three dozen eggs. We're trying to eat more eggs and be a little more healthy. I got um, a bag of Splenda. The last bag I had, apparently I hadn't, you know, done this, sealed it quite as well as I should have and I keep it up kind of on a shelf and uh, my husband got it down and I told him I said you should always feel like something is not close when you get it down and be careful rather than just jerk jerking it down and not knowing if it's sealed or not because we lost almost a whole bag of Splenda because I did not close it good and he just jerked it down so we both take responsibility but um, I'm going to be sure to close it good from now on. And I got a four pack of butter. I just love that butter. And I believe this is the last thing. Ritz crackers. We love that with cheese on it or make tuna salad, chicken salad, and and uh, put it on it or um, peanut butter and my favorite thing with them is to make little peanut butter uh, sandwiches and then dip them in white chocolate oh so good so I had to look and make sure what the name of the app was the app I wanted to share with you I don't know how long it's been around or how many people know about it but I saw it today and decided to use it since I was going to Sam's Club but it's called Scan and Go. And it's a Sam's Club app. And what you do 
it's very simple to register and um, then you put your charge card information into it or however many charge cards you want to put in it that you might possibly be paying with and you put your Sam's Club information in it which mine uh, once I filled out my name and stuff it automatically went in there but anyway when you're walking around the store when you find something you want uh, you just with your camera you um, the barcode you just hold it over uh, the camera over the barcode and it'll automatically go into your phone and it will show what item you just selected and want to get and then you can pick a number how many of those you want it's so simple and you just walk around the store and you do that for everything you want and when you're done you click on a little place that says check out and then you pick which method you want to pay with of your charge cards and click pay and your food is paid for it. You don't have to go through the line at the register. You don't have to do anything, but um, you know, there's always someone standing at the door that will make a line on your uh, register receipt. Well, when you have to go by that person and they take a little, some kind of little gun thing and they click it at your phone and you're done and you leave. And it will keep a list of your receipts, so if you would buy something big, like electronics or something, you'll have that receipt in your phone if something happens and you need to return it or discuss it with them. So, to me, that is one of the best apps I have. You know, those lines can be long sometimes at Sam's, and uh, you just get to walk past all that. Just as, And it's just as simple as can be to use it. So it's called Scan and Go. So thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. I hope your week's going great, and I hope the rest of your week's even better. Take care, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.